Hey everybody, it's Ragdolls. I'm glad to be back. It's been a little bit. My internet was down, but I finally got a new modem from Xfinity. Thank God. Uh, it's been a while. I feel like it's been like a week. Um, but nonetheless, I'm back. My modem appears to be working, and we'll see if this video actually goes up. But uh, there's going to be a few changes to the channel, which is exciting. Um, I'm going to kind of step up my game here. And uh, I got news for the week. Let's get started. The Sega Genesis Flashback System was released this week, everybody. Um, I was I was actually really excited to see this item because with the NES Classic and the new SNES that's supposed to be coming out, um, I mean, we, we could use more nostalgia. I mean, there, it always sells and it's always exciting when you get to see the old systems that you enjoyed as a kid come out. And the unfortunately, the Sega Genesis flashback system is just a Chinese knockoff gimmicky piece of crap. It's not even made by Sega. It comes with 80 games, with 46 of which are actually... Um, Sega Originals. So they're, they're from the Game Gear system, the Sega Master system, which is older, I believe, than the Sega Genesis, and then there are a few from the actual Genesis system, which is um, frustrating. It, um, I mean, I feel like when you come out with a an item that's supposed to be like a flashback item, you, you should be getting Genesis games if you're if you're rebooting a Genesis and if you're gonna reboot a, a you know a master system then put only master system games don't do a mashup of random games now granted there are Sonic games but you don't get games like Sonic 3 you get Sonic and Knuckles Sonic 3d blast Sonic 1 and 2 um, so that's kind of weird like why would you not have Sonic 3 on there it's so it's like they weren't able to achieve all the licensing for the games that were included and then the last few games 20 or so games that are on there um, are bonus games which are actually cheap Chinese knockoff games and there is a review on IGN which I'll leave a link in the description below uh, that does a really kind of comprehensive review on the entire system which I'm not going to go into there's not enough time but I was disappointed you there are wireless controllers but they feel cheap and they're not as responsive as the original controllers now you can plug in the originals if you want and you can also use a real cartridge if you own any Genesis cartridges on the system it's the exact same size and build as the Genesis system. It's just not the same build quality. It feels cheap. It's real light and flimsy. Um, and you're probably going to have better luck if you can find some original Genesis controllers. So I would suggest doing that if you're going to buy the system. Next in the news, uh, Fortnite was finally released. That game looks amazing. It honestly looks like a combination of Sunset Overdrive meets Dead Block. If you've ever played that, that was a great game. Meets Minecraft. Um, it looks like you essentially kind of defeat waves of zombies while at the same time gathering resources and building a large fort uh, or fortification to defend yourself against a zombie horde. Uh, Deadblock was, I, I'm only using that as an example because it's a similar kind of concept. You have these zombies, you have to put up uh, barricades throughout an environment and you have to build them. Now the difference between Deadblock and you know Fortnite is you're not really gra gathering resources in such a way but it was such kind of artistic looking uh, art style that that uh, you know kind of cartoony where you know Sunset Overdrive kind of em exemplifies the same kind of art style they're going with for Fortnite. It's very goofy looking, it's kind of exaggerated, it looks like a really fun game. Um, I did watch a review on it and they basically described it, this is on GamerAnks, um, they described it as an eventual uh, free to play game now. I hope so, but I'm gonna buy it anyway It looks like a great game like you can have fun with your friends playing this, you know in a four-person party So I definitely suggest checking that out that is finally out and available to play on Xbox one and uh, I don't know if it's on ps4. I didn't look that far into it, uh, but I did see some Xbox gameplay uh, so definitely check that out. I'll leave a link in the description below to the uh, Gamer Ranks video that kind of is a before you buy video for Fortnite. And, uh, you know, it is for PlayStation. I saw the commercial. So, yeah, it's for PS4, uh, Xbox One, and PC, I believe. Um, Doomfist, if you're a huge fan of Overwatch, which I think 99% of the gaming industry is a fan of Overwatch, I still haven't gotten the opportunity to play it, but Doomfist is finally available to play. I announced in my last couple videos that Doomfist was going to be added to the character roster and is now available to play. There is a video on uh, GameSpot, I believe, on how to defeat 
uh, Doomfist, and I'll leave a link in the description below for that as well. Uh, really amazing game that's coming out for Xbox One that I'm very excited for, which is Hellblade uh, Senua's, or Senua's, or Sen Senua's Sacrifice. I don't know how to say her name. Uh, the official trailer was released on GameSpot. If you've gotten the opportunity to check that out, it's not just on GameSpot. These are just where I get most of my news sources from, and I'm going to start citing my sources in a lot of my videos. Um, so if you get a chance to check that out, and there is also a 10-minute gameplay of the video or the game itself, which it just looks amazing. It, it has this like really kind of creepy element. I know that the main character is supposed to be um, psychologically unstable, and that kind of adds an element of challenge to the game. Um, kind of has a Dark Souls feel to it. Um, it's third person. There are these kind of crazy, monstrous-looking bosses and mini bosses that you have to defeat and overall I think it's going to be an excellent game to add to Xbox's um, game list which is I, I don't know I'm excited about that I'm always excited because I have an Xbox I don't own a PS4 to play another Xbox game um, big news um, and final story is GTA 6 uh, was supposedly leaked at the beginning of the week and it was a huge deal the internet was freaking out there were reddit posts just I think was on Reddit itself was one of the most popular posts at the time as to whether or not this was a real leak and uh, they posted a resume of a supposed actor who had taken part in Red Dead Redemption 2 and in GTA 5 and it turns out according to the actor whose resume was posted that he has never seen that resume before that's not even him and that's not his resume um, so it is currently a hoax uh, I'm sure that GTA 6 might be somewhat in development but my theory is that Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to take a lot of effort especially if it's going to compete with it, the same playing field as GTA 5 uh, I, I anticipate they're going to want, want it to be a better game than GTA 5 um, I don't think that it's going to top it in any way, but I think it's going to be on par. They're putting a lot of work and effort into this, and they're going to revamp the online gameplay, which I think was just awful in the original Red, De Red Dead Redemption. But we have a whole new story and, you know, amazing environments. This is a huge game. So for them to be in development for GTA 6 at the same time, that doesn't sound like Rockstar to me. Um, we waited a long time before we saw GTA 5. We also got a Red Dead Redemption between GTA 4 and 5. So I think this is kind of the normal cycles. We're going to see years before we see another title in each franchise, which is fine by me because that means we're only going to get excellent games. Uh, last thing I have for you guys is there's going to be a few changes to the channel. I'm going to try and stay on time as much as I can. Like I said, I am a dad, so staying on time is not the easiest thing for me. But I will be uploading Let's Play videos every single day of the week except for Sunday. So you're still going to get your normal news stories on Wednesday and Saturday. But instead of Wednesdays being the new Let's Play day, I'm going to make Tuesday and Wednesday currently the Let's Play for The Flame and the Flood. And then Wednesday and Thursday... Oh, sorry, Monday and Tuesday for L The Flame of the Flood, and Wednesday and Thursday is going to be Layers of Fear, and I want to finish those games. So I'm going to start over Layers of Fear and go from the beginning, but I'm going to finish uh, The Flame of the Flood. So uh, stay tuned. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you guys like the video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again on Monday. See you later. Have a good one.